Excalibur, Vault, or rather Mag? Which of these three is actually the best starter Warframe? To be honest, good question. Because after you started the game and watched the intro cutscene, this is the first big decision that you are confronted with as a player. And since you're gonna be stuck with the Warframe you choose for at least a couple of days into your playthrough, you wanna make sure to make the right decision at this point. Problem with this is, however, that after watching an intro cutscene for five minutes, you're not even close to having an idea what you're really choosing. I mean, how could you? To be fair, the game does give you a sort of text box which gives you a brief description of the three, but to be honest, if you base your decision on just that, it's nothing more than basically a coin throw. That's why, in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly which is the best starter Warframe for you personally, taking into account their strengths and weaknesses, and speaking about how the game start looks through the eyes of either of these three frames to give you a good opinion about what you're actually choosing. And to make it as informative for you as possible, all the gameplay in the background will not be some way high-level build with a thousand in-game hours invested into it, which is totally not representative of the start of the game, but rather all the weapons and Warframe that you are gonna see in the background are unupgraded basic versions of the frame and weapon, so that you get a really good idea of how the game's start actually looks like as you will play it. And with that out of the way, let's say, ladies first, and start out looking at Mag. Out of our three starters, Mag is by far the least popular choice. In fact, over at my German channel, I did a survey asking what is your favorite starting Warframe, 700 people answered, and Mag scored a whopping 8%. That's pretty pathetic. So, is Mag just simply a bad choice? I mean, it obviously seems to be that way, right? Well, yes and no at the same time. In short, it's complicated. Let's take a look at it. Out of our three starters, Vault, Excalibur and Mag, Mag is probably the most complicated to master Warframe. She has a skill set with a lot of synergies in a way that you don't just press a button and then something happens on screen and your action is done. Mag's skills are best used in conjunction with each other. If you want to play Mag to her fullest potential, then you're not just gonna use her skills in isolation, you're gonna combine them based on what your current situation in the game looks like. For example, if you play Excalibur and you use his first skill, he dashes towards an enemy and then cuts it in half. Done. With Mag, it's not really like that, you know? You have to not only make a magnetized bubble around an enemy and see him die, you might also want to use another skill to pull in more enemies into that bubble. If you take damage, maybe you want to use a third skill to replenish your shields, and then you have another skill which also has its purpose. There is a lot to know about it. And if that's a good or a bad thing, that's entirely up to you. You have to see that for yourself. If you're a person that likes to play characters that are more complicated to master and have a higher potential if mastered, then yes, Mag might be a good choice for you sometime along the way. However, if you're the sort of person who just likes a straight-up damage dealer where you press a button, use a skill and everything dies, then Mag will definitely not be your choice. Not now and probably not in the future as well. And that's what I think is one of the determining factors as to why she is so unpopular. Warframe as we know it is quite the complicated game to come into, you know, you're overwhelmed with a lot of different mechanics and a lot of different things and we can all relate to people who are finishing the tutorial quest and then say they don't have the slightest idea what they're supposed to do. So I can fully understand that you might want to start out with a character that you know how to handle and that doesn't force you to learn an additional thing in addition to all the other things that you have to learn at an instant to find your way in the game. However, that's not the only reason why I would probably say Mag is actually not the best choice for starters. See, the biggest thing that holds Mag down at the start is that she is insanely energy hungry. If you don't know it, in Warframe you don't have a cooldown on your skills. You have a set energy pool that is used to cast your skills with and if you're out of energy, you cannot use your skills anymore. 
And that's the big problem with Mag. Since her skills are not just simply one-time use and done skills like with the other frames, you will have to use multiple skills in combination with each other according to your situation to get the most out of her. And that obviously costs a lot of energy. Energy that, unfortunately, you're not gonna have at the game start. See, energy is mostly replenished by those blue energy orbs that you will also see in the background occasionally, and if you pick them up, you get a bit of energy back. But that little energy refill here and there is not going to sustain Mag's energy hunger. That's also why she gets so popular later in the game, because as you progress and unlock more upgrades, you will basically end up in a late game situation where you have so many specialized upgrades on energy refills that you're gonna have basically infinite energy whenever you want. You can spam the skills as you please because energy will not be a problem anymore. But that point is far along the way and in the beginning you're gonna struggle. That's why I would say Mag is maybe not the optimal starter out of the three. But what about you? Which one is your favorite starter? Let me know in the comments down below if you like, and also please, if I say anything wrong here or you think I missed something out, an important point or anything, feel free to correct me in the comments. Time to amp up the energy and talk about our second frame, which would be Vault. Even though it might not seem like it from the survey that I showed you earlier, there are quite some people who say that Vault is the starting frame in the game, and they make some good points about it too. So are they right? Let's take a look at it. Mag is a classical AOE frame. However, Vault is very differently, as he has not just one playstyle. I would go so far to say that he's one of the most diverse frames in the game, because all of his skills serve very different needs. Let me make an example. Volt's first skill shoots an electric lightning at enemies, so it seems like he's an offensive frame. However, the second skill gives you an energy shield that you can place to defend positions, so is he a defensive frame? The third skill makes you super fast, which makes him sort of a speedrunner. And the fourth skill is a gigantic AoE damage dealer thing. So what really is Vault now? Simple answer is yes to all of these roles and no at the same time. With Vault, you will have the choice to upgrade him in a way to serve all of these roles somehow. And this is one of the key points as to why Vault fans say that he is the best starter frame. And that's not really incorrect, because Vault, out of all those three starters, is the only frame which is a definite must in some late game missions. You know, Mag and Excalibur are decent frames and you can very much play them even in the very late, late game if you upgrade them correctly. However, you'll never be in a situation where you really need one of them in your team to be able to play or master a certain mission. With Vault, this is different. Don't get me wrong, it's not like Vault is going to be played all the time in the late game. There are just a few missions where you really need one in your team, but there are missions where you still need Vault even in the very late game, and as I said, the other two are not necessarily needed. That's why Vault fans say you should pick him as a starter, because then you will already have him when you encounter those missions where he is needed in the team. And that all makes perfect sense, just that there's one point that some people miss out when they say that. As a starting player, you're not gonna see those missions where you really need a vault in the team. Those missions happen 50 to 100 hours into your playthrough, and at that point you will have so much money and resources at your disposal that you can just build vault as you need him, you don't need him before. The second big point that I always happen to hear is that if you want to build Vault the normal way, you have to be in a clan because the blueprint that you need to build him is only acquirable from the clan dojo. And if you don't want to mess with some sort of clan business or whatever, just want to get your Warframe, you should pick him as a starter because then you don't have to get into any clans just to get him. And while that's also perfectly correct, there are also other Warframes that are only obtainable from the clan dojo, as well as many, many dozens of very good weapons also. So there's not really a way around getting into a clan in order to have all of these things at some point. 
And also, it's actually really easy to get into a clan. In fact, there are so many big clans that simply invite everybody who wants to join simply to give them access to all of these items and don't really want to push you into some sort of clan business that you don't even want to be part of. So it's not really that big of a deal. And as I said, you will need to do it anyway. So is Vault the best starter? To be honest, from my personal experience, I feel like the discussion about Vault as a starter, yes or no, is led by some arguments that, and please don't get me wrong, I don't want to offend anyone here, led by some arguments that simply aren't really valid from a starting player's point of view. That's why I want to clearly state, if you want to choose Vault as a starting frame, and that's a perfectly legitimate decision, not gonna try to discourage you from doing that, but don't do it because somebody told you Vault is a good late game frame. Don't do it just because somebody told you you can avoid clan business if you take him right away. If you want to take him as a starter, do that because you're convinced about the gameplay scenes in the background in conjunction with what I said about him convinces you that this is the playstyle that you're looking for. This looks like something that could be nice fun for you. And if you think, well, that's something that could wait for another 100 hours, according to my opinion, then don't take him. Which leads us to the point of the video where I ask you to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. But before you skip ahead, I have a good reason for that. See, over at my German channel, I've already helped thousands of Warframe newbies getting into the game and having a lot of fun with it. That's why I decided to now start translating my best and most popular videos also into English and upload it here to be able to help more people out there. And if that sounds appealing to you, then I'd be really happy if you joined the crew. Thanks for that. On to Excalibur, the poster boy of Warframe, the phase of the game and the one frame that stole the show from the two other frames in the intro cutscene, which is probably the reason why two-thirds of the players prefer him as a starter, let's be honest. In my personal opinion, Excalibur is the optimal starter for the majority of players, and I will tell you exactly why. As I showed you at the beginning of the video, Excalibur is a very straightforward frame. You press a button, he does something, and that's it. And to make it even simpler, two of his four skills are basically never used. The only thing you really need to know about Excalibur is with his second skill he can blind enemies, and with his fourth skill he pulls out his energy blade and just cuts every enemy into pieces. That's it, and to be honest, there's not much more to him. Again, you could see this as a negative or as a positive, depending on your own opinion, but since we're talking about the best starting experience, I personally see this as a plus point. As already mentioned, Warframe can be a very complicated and overwhelming experience for new players. That's why I think for a lot of players it's really nice and comfortable to just have a frame where they can pull out their energy blades, spam the melee button and get themselves out of a tricky situation that way. That's exactly the field that Excalibur excels in. But that's my personal opinion only, and to be honest, that point is not unrivaled, and just for completion's sake, I will also list some arguments as to why you should not use Excalibur and maybe go for one of the other two that I commonly hear and that are totally legitimate. See, Excalibur is in a bit of a weird situation. While he is by far the most popular pick at the start of the game, basically nobody plays him in the late game anymore because there are a lot of other Warframes that serve basically the same role, just do it better. Don't get me wrong, Excalibur is still playable also in very high level missions and he is able to stand his ground and do a lot of damage, it's not like he's getting unplayable, but he's simply not as popular and he is never really needed like Vault for example is. Also, if you want to unlock and get him the usual way, you can already do that at the fourth planet, which would be Mars, so it's very early in the game. That's why some people say it's a waste to take him as a starter, because if you really want him, you're gonna be in the position to farm him very, very soon into your playthrough. And lastly, what is not being told to you as a beginner, once you finish the main quote-unquote storyline of the game, you will get an improved version of the Excalibur Warframe as a quest reward, which is better in every way, and at that point you can basically trash your standard Excalibur and never use it again. 
What this all boils down to is, there is a definite best starter, but you're the one deciding who that is. That's why I would recommend the following. If from what I told you about those three Warframes, for any of the three you get the feeling like, this is amazing, this looks great, the playstyle it resonates with me nicely, this looks like the Warframe I want to main, I want to play. Then whoever that is, even if it's Mag, by all means, pick that Warframe as a starter and have fun with it. On the other hand, if you're not really convinced by any of the three, if you think that your talents and strengths are maybe somewhere entirely different, then I suggest just stick to Excalibur, because that way you will have the most comfortable start into the game, and maybe find the Warframe that fits best for your playstyle later down the way, whoever that might be. The most important thing is that you have fun with the game as you play it, because if it's not fun, you're not going to continue playing it and miss out on possibly a lot of fun you could have later. And also, your choice doesn't really make that big of an impact, to be honest. Warframe might be a difficult game to think yourself into, but it's not difficult from a mechanical standpoint, meaning you will not really struggle with your story playthrough no matter which of these three you choose. So choose the one that looks best for you. I hope that was helpful for you. Leave a like and subscribe if you like the content and want more of that in the future. And goodbye.